Good day, sir. <clears throat> Uko? Sir. Who is that boy that has been following my daughter about the whole time? Sir, the fact is that your daughter is the one running after him. And what does that mean? I'm saying what I know. That young man's name is Mesoma, living in downtown. A common bartender. I, I, I wonder what your daughter saw in that guy that she has fallen so deeply in love with him. My daughter in love with bartender. Hmm. <laughs> That's interesting. Sir. The status of this young man doesn't give you any bother. Why should I be bothered? That he's a bartender does not make him less a woman being. And besides, for my daughter to have fallen deeply in love with him shows that there is something special she found about this guy. I always trust her sense of joy. Yes. Well, sir, if you say so, a problem, sir. That his poor today will not make it that he is not going to be a wealthy man tomorrow. Yes. Dad, you mean even with his financial status, you don't mind? That does not matter at all. Who knows? He's getting married to you will be the key to his success, to his wealthy life. Who knows? <laughs> Daddy, thank you so much. I thought you would kick against our relationship. How could I? I know I will not do such a thing. <laughs> All right, come, let's go inside. I have a story to tell you. You see, my dear, so many people in life get carried away by material things. I had nothing when I married my first wife, Susan. But I love Susan. I loved her. But For the fact that I was a low-class man, I was unable to meet up with her constant high demand. As a result of this, she started sleeping here and there with men. And along the line, she got pregnant for one of her numerous uh, male friends. And from that point, she left me and ran away with the pregnancy. Hey, Dad, that must be a terrible experience. A worst experience at that. You see, this is where I was. A poor carpenter. Before I met with your mother, and we started living together, she was an angel sent to me by God. We started getting on, on and on, and things started changing until we achieve what I have now today. But I, I don't know why she had to die. I don't know why she had to die so early. That it's all right now. Please don't start. Oh, see it. See it. 
It's okay. It's okay, my dear. It's okay. It's okay. And uh, if you say that you love uh, that boy, what, what is that his uh, name? Mesoma. Oh, Mesoma. Yeah, if you say that you love Mesoma so much enough that you can get married with him, I will not stand on your way. Thank you so much, Dad. You see why I always say that you're different from others. I love you so much. I love you more, my princess. What you have to do for me now is to invite him one of these days for dinner. Really? So that we can get along and uh, know, know each other better. Um, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, Amir. Yeah. I love you, my princess. My love. My love. I can see you have many customers today. Yes. It's always like this during weekends. Um, oh. Sorry I kept you waiting. It's okay. Um, so, what do I offer you? I'm okay. No way. You have to take something now. My love, please don't insist. I really don't want to take anything now. Hmm? Are you I was sure? missing you so much so I can see you. Now that I've seen you, mission accomplished. I'm good. Um, I miss you too, my love. But not to worry. Tomorrow I'm off. So we'll have enough time to hang out. Really? Wow, you. that's good. Um, in that case, then you need to concentrate. I'll so see you tomorrow, okay? Come on, bring me a new job. Come on. Come on, come for me. Sir. Come on, come on. 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 Come on, My love, my biggest fear now is just a father. What about my father? Chuma, can't you see? You're the only daughter of a multi-millionaire. But who am I? I'm just a nobody. A common bartender. <laughs> Do you actually think your father will ever prove of our relationship? <laughs> when are you coming to pay my five price? What? Where are you actually listening to everything I've been saying? I was listening to everything you're saying, my love. Well, my father has given us his approval. What? <laughs> in fact, he's inviting you over and he's looking for dinner. Choma, you're joking. I'm not joking. I told him about your sister, Chief, and he's looking forward to meeting her too. Wow, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Are you, are you serious? Of course I'm serious! <laughs> this is awesome! I, I love you. I love you so much. I know. I love you too. I love you very much. <laughs>
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I hope both of you are enjoying your meals. Oh, yes, sir. So, I'm me. I'm really enjoying it. Since I came to this one, I've never eaten this kind of food before. Yes. Would you? What do I know, brother? Are you not enjoying this food? Please don't mind her, sir. There's no problem. Um, Miss Oma, can you tell us more about your family? Oh. Um, sir, um, our parents are late. My only family now is uh, my kid sister, Uju. And um, we are from Agbani village in a local local government area of Ebony State. Sorry about your parents. Thank you, sir. It's all right. Enjoy your meals. After we chat more. Okay? Okay, sir. Chief, when I finish, I'll, I'll now come home. What's this one? Good, now let me just finish up and go. Miss Oma. Yes, sir. I don't know how you ought to go, my daughter. And I really don't want to know. What I want you to know now is that she is all I have. And anybody who makes my daughter to shed tears will suffer the most excruciating pains in his life. I hope we are clear on this matter. Yes. Yes, sir, we are very clear. It's okay. It's all right. Let us keep watching. Dad, is everything all right? Yes, everything is perfectly all right. I am just trying to know much about the young man. Miss Oma, is that not true? Yes, um, that's true. Uh, he was just um, asking me how much I care about you and all that. There's nothing to worry about. Okay. Um, in a plain language, how much does she need to you? <sighs> Honestly, sir, she means the entire world to me. She's my treasure of inestimable value. Ooh. It's okay. I will leave both of you now. Okay? Continue your discussion. But, uh, Ms. Mama, one more thing. Anyone who makes my daughter happy is a friend. Just feel at home. Thank you, sir. It's all right. So do I have the best dad? Oh. So tell me, did you enjoy the meal? What well, the meal? It was something else. I did.
Oh, oh. Oh, can you just let me handle this now? I know what I'm doing. I'm just taking this thing one step at a time. Mama, can we talk about this thing when I get home? Please, Baba. Ah. Miss Oma, that was your mom on the phone. But you said she was dead. Oh, um, she, I mean, the, the woman I was talking to on the phone is actually the woman that took care of um, Uju and I. You know, when our parents died, help wasn't coming from anywhere. So she took us in and nurtured us as her own. Yes, I did. I see. I see. But you've never mentioned about her. Why? Um, Chief, I was actually waiting for the right time to introduce her to you. It's okay, son. It's okay. Uh, I would like to meet with her. Oh, okay, son. Okay. There is something that I want you to go and do for me now. I'm not here, sir. Yeah. You go and get me the details about that boy that is asking for my daughter's hand in marriage. You see, there is something about that boy that I cannot place right now. I want you to follow him up. Get me every details about him. That's what I want. No problem, sir. I'll do just that. There you are. Good day, sir. Good day, my princess. Um, I heard when uh, Miss Oma was talking to a woman, he called her mother on the phone. And he later told me that that woman was the person that took care of him and uh, his sister. Uh, are you aware of that? I'm not aware of any such woman. And Miss has never mentioned her to me. My princess, are you sure that you know anything about that young man? Daddy, I knew him too well. I'm sure he didn't tell me about her because he was waiting for the right time to do that. Okay. Are you being suspicious? Uh, not really. But you know, you are the only thing that I have on this earth. You are the only source of my happiness. Therefore, I wouldn't want anything to happen to you. <laughs> I think nothing will happen to me, okay? I trust Miss Sue so well. There is nothing to be worried about. Relax. <laughs> okay. I hope this young man is as legit as we think. Okay. Sit in the place wasn't part of the plan. You son of a bitch. to start getting used to it that not all women are as loose as you are. How dare you! Will you stop that you? Will you stop your mind and get your hands down? Get it down and go and sit down! Get a grip on yourself, would you? Go and sit down! Hello, Mom. Hi, my dear. How are you? How are 
are you coping with the task? Seriously, Mom, this past few months hasn't been easy. Men trying to be who I'm not oh, for the money. I know, I know, I know. Hmm? Just take everything easy. You soon get used to it. You get used to it, Mom. Yes. Brio. Anyway, go in, freshen up, get some rest, eh? and later you just me. Is this, is, this, is it okay by you? Hmm? All right, Mom. Okay, dear. I'll do so. Okay, dear. Okay. I hear Uju. Uju, let this be the first and the last that you react like this to your husband. I don't want you to screw up all the plans that we had with your useless temper or your madness. Look at her. Look at this buffoon. This is an entity of a, of, of a girl. I, 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 I married my, my, my son. Nonsense. You better not spoil the plan for me. You're not in the when it comes to Choma and I. Come on, Faith. Sleeping in her place was part of the game. My love, her dad wanted me to stay the night so he could get to know me more. Did you make love to her? What? As a mutual. I didn't even sleep in the same room with this girl. This whole thing is just for the money. Are you sure? Uh -uh. I'm not sure. You? You have such a bad axe. Come here, Joe. Ah! Hey, I don't even know how you got to make this bitch fall in love with you so much. Well, I'm a badass. And I know it. You know what? Well, let me tell you something. Um, very soon. Mm -hmm. We'll be eating and swimming in Chief Michael's room. No. <laughs> but I want to ask something. What is it? Do you buy me the car for your choice? As many as you can handle. You know we'll have money. Big money. Like mother, like son. Don't forget to add like wife because you're part of this whole plan. No, not part of it. Eh? Mm -hmm. So what are we doing? We are just going to get this way, Gary. Mm-hmm. What is it? My wife's not. Baby, and that's stopping. Come on. We need the dad. Your baby. I need it hot. Eh. Yeah, baby. Like no, you baby, I want to sober. Why didn't you tell me someone like that exists? Sweetheart, I was just waiting for the right time to properly introduce you to her. My love, when could possibly be the right time? Eh? We've been together for almost a year now. You, and you made me believe that Uju is your only surviving family. Sweetheart, I know, and I'm sorry about that. Just that I didn't actually know you cared so much about my family. Are you kidding me? Come on, baby. Do you know I care a lot about anything that concerns you more than any other thing in this world? Hmm? So tell me, where does she live and when are you taking me to meet her? She presently lives in the village. But not to worry. Very soon I'll take you to meet her. Would that make you happy now? That would be awesome, <laughs> of course. So, um, if you don't mind, can we go inside? Inside? Mm. Why? For privacy now, you see people are people might just be listening to what we're saying. Baby, are you sure you don't have any other thing in mind? Come on, Joe, it's not like that. <laughs> Can we? Uh -uh. There's there's enough privacy here. We'll stay here. I think I don't know what you're planning. Hey, uh, even if I'm planning, let's just uh -uh. we'll stay here. <laughs> let's just what? <laughs> oh yeah, let's just know. Uh, let's just let's just let's just let's just let's just. <laughs>
Mom, I'm trying to get this thing straight. So this is what this whole thing is all about. <laughs> he knew I left him out of frustration. I saw hell in Michael's house. Yes, and he never appreciated all I did for him. He never did. Mom, you expected him to appreciate you for cheating on him with other men. Just simply because you were not contented with what you had. How dare you speak to me like that? Oh no, I will speak to you however the hell I want, Mom. Had it not been for your impatience and love for, for pleasure outside your matrimonial home, you would have still been Mrs. Michael today. And I would have been his only son. And everything he had, everything he has acquired, would have been mine by right. I would not have to go through the stress of trying to force his innocent girl to marry me so that Michael will all, will all his assets to me. Huh? Okay. If you say so. And secondly, if he truly loved me, he would have tried his best to win me back after he made all his money. But no, he never did. Because he knew that what I needed or why I left him was because he never, he never gave me all I needed as a woman. He, he never did. Is that only man? I am so ashamed of you, Mom. I mean, do you listen to yourself talk? This is the most stupid and senseless thing I've ever heard you say since he gave birth to me. Try so me to ask you who my real father is. Of course, I know I'm a bastard. Will you shut up and get him out? Shut it up if I shut it for you. Silly ass. I've heard all the nonsense already. You know what? I don't think this innocent girl deserves all this evil thing you're planning for her. Oh. And I'm quitting this game. If you want you Michael so badly, get someone else to do it for you. You must be joking. Because the deal is what is sealed. You must be joking. I am joking. Godwin. Yeah. You must be joking. Mom, you don't know the son you gave birth to. Okay now. Just try watch me. me. Just try me. Godwin, come back here! Ah, the deal is sealed. You don't know the water you are swimming in because I know it. I am your mother. The deal is what? Sealed. No, you can't quit now. Not now you are close and getting the daughter to marry you. What are you saying? Like, does it even make sense to you? The mother left Chief Michael because she thought nothing would come out of a makeup until she married. And after so many years, she bumps into him and now realizes that he's a very wealthy man. What are you guys saying? Is it even possible for her to eat where she, she did not sow? Is it even possible for her to eat a cake and have it? Listen, baby. Listen. I understand you, but now you have to think about how you're going to make the bitch to marry you. Yes. Concentrate on that. Forget about the past. Forget about what happened in the past to remain in the past. They are the past now. Think about what will stand to gain. Think about the future. Just think about what will stand to gain. What will stand to grab, yes. So what are you saying? Uh, baby, what I'm saying is that we can't afford to quit now. We are in this together. We, yes. Remember. Quitters are losers. Yes. Yes.
your phone. That's John on the line. And if this call is so important to you, why not pick it yourself? Eh, don't worry now. Oju! Oju, please, my dear, come and pick up this call. Oju, ma! Yes, mom. Please, come and pick this call. Hello? Oh, hello, baby. Hello? <laughs> My brother's beautiful wife to be. How are you? Would you? How are you? Yeah, I'm good. And you? Um, okay. I haven't seen or heard from your brother in like days now. And he's not picking my calls. Why are you the one taking my call? My brother forgot his phone at home and he traveled to the village. But he'll be back soon. Oh, oh, okay. Um, no wonder, because I've been to the house countless times and no one seems to know his whereabouts. <laughs> Don't get worried. But I'll talk to him. He's, he'll call me today, yes. When, once he calls me, I'll tell him to call you on your own number. Then you both can talk. Hmm? Oh, okay. So when exactly is he coming back? Yeah, he'll be back in three days' time. Um, please do, okay? Oh, okay, you might guys see everyone, okay? Thank you, yeah, bye. <laughs> <laughs> that was very, very brilliant of you, my dear. Oh, my dear husband. Godwin! Godwin! You better be careful. You better use your head. Don't do this thing. We started this. That means we're in it. And we're not backing off until we are done. Yes, we are not done yet. We are almost there. So don't make me lose this opportunity. Did you get that? Did you? Very good. It's not the type of uh, child I should give back to. Oh, it's not. Honestly. Honestly, I, honestly, I wish you weren't even my mother. Ah. I'm so ashamed of you. Okay, come. <laughs> I hear it. I don't mind it. The seal, the deal is sealed. It's completely sealed. It's sealed, man. It's no good. No going anywhere for you. Don't even think you're bad enough. Is he a mom? No more feelings is good. Is he a mom? 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 Is Yes, I did. You seem to have traveled far in thought. What could be bothering or disturbing my princess this badly? That it's Meso. I've not seen him for like two weeks now and I'm worried. I just hope everything is okay with him. Hmm. Have you gone to his place of work? Yes, Dad. I went to his place of work and the manager told me that he stopped coming to work without notice. I even went to his place and nobody around there seems to know his whereabouts except for his sister just told me now that he traveled. It's okay, my princess. It's okay. Don't let this bother you at all. Huh? Okay. I believe he may have traveled or something like that. That Imesu cannot travel without telling me. It's all right. Don't let it bother you so much because I don't want whatever that will make you unhappy. Hmm? Okay. Sooner or later, he will be back from where he went to. Okay? Okay, Dad. It's all right, my dear. Uh, it seems that you love this young man so dearly. I do, Dad. I love him so much. That's good. Uh, I hope it's worth it. It's all right, my dear. Cheer up, my baby. Cheer up. Cheer up.
Don't you dare do that again. How could you leave town without telling me? And you left the only thing I could reach you with with your sister. Is that how less I meant to you? Well, I'm sorry, my love. I'm sorry I had to disappear the way I did. I just needed some time to figure some things out. For two whole weeks? Come on, Chum, I was just gone for one week. Well, that seemed like two years to me. And what's this thing you're thinking of that you had to stay away from me? A lot, my love. A whole lot. Chuma, it's not all right. It's not all right. Chuma, look at me. You gave me your undying love, knowing fully well I cannot, I'm not even capable of taking care of you. Just, just look at me. A graduate, working as a bartender. It's not your fault. My love, you're not the only graduate that is unemployed. Don't worry, I'm not complaining. I know you're not complaining. Well, at least for now. Choma, no woman wants any liability for a husband. Don't you get it? Can you stop sounding like this? You're not a liability to me. Miss, you, you, you are hardworking and you have great visions. Great visions? And where has that gotten me? I mean, where has that taken me to? Do you see where I live? Choma, is that where you're going to live with me when I marry you? Can you stop complaining? Okay, we will do something about where you live. Hmm? What can I possibly do? I mean, I don't even have enough money to get a suitable place. I love the world. How can I do that? Hmm? You see what I'm talking about? I'm stressing you already. You are not stressing me. Can we talk about something else? Whatever I do for you, I do for myself. We're in this together. Hmm? My love, please don't be like this now. You know I've missed you so much. Huh? Miss smile now. <laughs> My dear, I am glad that you have finally had your return and you are back online. I am not doing this for you, Mom. I know. I know it is fine. Eh? But the, the, the most important thing there is that you are back. Eh? I don't know if you are, I don't want to know if you are doing it for me or not. Yes, you are back online. That is the most important thing. I am proud of you, son. Listen, you see all those things I used to say to you? It's all right, it's all right, it's all right, let's sit down. It's all right, let's sit down, sit down. Sit down, sit down, sir. It's all right. Hmm? You see, all my life I have desired to swim in a stupendous world. I love beautiful things. I love money. I love big things, I love, I love big dreams, you know. But you are the only one that would do it for me now. To have those beautiful things that I have desired. You know, Mom, yes. you don't have to worry again. It won't be so long now. And um, I have good news for you. You mean she's really getting your help? Mm -hmm. That's good news. <sighs> That means we're really making progress. You can't say that again. I shot, baby. You know what, honey? You know all those times I was acting like I was no longer interested in all this thing? 
I was just busy setting my plans. It's all part of the games. I told you. Ah, ah. <laughs> Though it wasn't really the original plan. But seriously, this one you did. It's really a bad girl. You know, my mother knows the kind of son she gave birth to. That's why she chose me for this job. Even though I'm a bastard. Bastards bastard are bad ass, ass. You know. <laughs> <laughs> you know how much I missed you. Come here. You know what? I miss you so much. Yes. Let me prove it to you. I missed you, Dad. Three million naira is a whole lot of money, my sweetheart. What do you need it for? Dad, it's for my personal needs. Can I get it by morning? It's okay. Hold on. Now check your phone for your account balance. Okay. Dad, I think there's a mistake in your transfer. No mistakes at all. No mistakes. You see, since ever you were born, you have never for one day asked me for money, not even a couple. That's because you give me enough money for my upkeep. I really do not have any reason to demand for more money. Yes, I know. But now that you are asking money from your father, I don't see any reason of not giving it to you. And I know that you still have some money in your bank account. So that is why I'm trying to make it up to you. Um, thank you so much, Daddy. Thank you, my dear. So this was never a mistake. It is not at uh, all. Daddy, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. But... Um, I hope you will invest it wisely. Sure, Daddy, I will. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's all right. Yes, my dear. I've made my inquiries. So, what did you find out? You won't believe it. Chief Michael Uzo is worth hundreds of millions, mm -hmm. excluding his company. And houses. Dad, this is really big. I mean, big. We are going to be what? Stinky rich. You can say that again. Yes, we're going to be. Uh, but another thing there is, it depends on how you play your cards. Yes. We don't have to worry. You know your son now. Okay. Is it? It will be so long again because I am already on top of it. But Momo, yeah. how did you come up with such an idea? Ah, it was that night you came back. Well, guess what I saw today? The daughter of a multi-millionaire, Chief Michael. Chief Michael? Mm -hmm. Do you know him? That name rings a bell, you know. <laughs> well, it's only a few people in this town that does not know Chief Michael. I guess what? Yes. We even had a drink. Is that so? I'm telling you. That is great, son. Hmm? You knowing the only daughter of a multi-millionaire in this town mm -hmm. brings us fortune. But wait a minute. I hope you didn't tell her that you were married. Oh, no. No, do, do, we actually talked at length, but we never talked anything about being married or not. Thank God. Don't worry, you still have one of these days. Yeah. Okay. I needed to satisfy my curiosity. So I made my inquiries and I understood that all were correct. Then I had to draw the plan so that we favor us all. Oh, That's mama. It. Oh, mama. You're such a desperate old man. Okay. Ah! Even at your age, you're still a game player. Trust me when I say this is Yahoo with that laptop. 
My dear, you have to learn from me, you hear? Mama, you know me. I'm such a fast learner. <laughs> you say so. All right, um, I have to get going. I have an appointment with Joma. Oh, client should be the best way to define that bitch. <laughs> well, whatever you guys say. But wait, though. You two, won't you wish me good luck? <laughs> okay. Both of you, wish me luck. Good luck, my dear. Hello, baby. Bye, I'll see you. People are just enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Oh, and I'm there. Yeah, we need that. Father. He went by air. Oh, that means he's not coming back tomorrow. No, 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 no. It should be in three days. Three days? Yeah. Why did you tell me that? Let me freshen up, please. I won't sit until I've done what actually brought me here. I hope there's no problem. No, there's no problem. Um, Choma, you know, they say you never know how beautiful and fulfilled your life will be until some certain people come into your life. What I'm saying is, since you came into my life, it's been beautiful all the way. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm just here to ask you, please, will you marry me?
<laughs> I really enjoyed the meal. I'm happy you did. I was actually scared that you not like it. <laughs> Why won't I? Come on. Um, my love. Yes, sir. I have a little surprise for you. <laughs> what could that be? Hello. A million naira. <laughs> Honestly, I, I don't even know what to say. You don't have to say anything at all. I really don't know what my life would have been without you. I love you so much. I know. Um, get a uh, duplex in a good area. Furnish it. I know you have good taste. Then move in with your sister. I don't want you to go back to that face me I face you. It doesn't befit your person. I will. And I promise I won't disappoint you. I know. I trust you. Amen. <laughs> wow. Alright. Do you have with my head? Mom, I've already paid for a duplex on the island. And how much is that? <laughs> it's just 2.5 million and I paid for two years. Is that not rather too, too expensive? No, 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 Mom. <laughs> it didn't even come close. See, Choma believes I have this high taste and I don't want to disappoint her. I just want to leave it at that. Is that so? Yes, so. Well, if it says so, it's well with me. Mm. But I want you to start giving her full attention. All the attention she deserves, you have to give it to her. So that you people will start planning about the wedding. Then we have to move on to the next step. To the second plan. Mom, you worry too much. Okay. You don't have anything to worry about because I've got this under control. Okay. But, for the meantime, I will transfer 500,000 naira each to your account. So you can change your wardrobe. Exactly. While I use the remaining to run around for the wedding preparations. Yay! Yeah. That is what I'm talking about, baby. Look at, <laughs> look, look, look at ah, Money is power. Yes. I'm proud of you, sir. You can say that again, Mom. Oh. You can say that again. Look at me now. I'm not wearing designers. Yes. See, I will have to run now um, because I have all that things to take care of. No problem, then. If you need anything, call me. Be careful, right. darling. All right, then, I'll have you. What is it? Yes. You guys are something. Yes. yes. Seriously. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you should be very lucky that you have my son as a husband. <laughs> yeah, mom, I'm so lucky. I'm proud of you, mom. Thank you, my love. Thank you. Thank you. My princess. Daddy. How are you? I'm fine. Um, that Meso has picked a date for the wedding. Really? Yes, sir. Oh. <laughs> I can see that he has so much in love with that young boy <laughs> that you want to spend the rest of your life with. Yes, Dad. I love him so much. And getting married to him will make me happy for the rest of my life. <laughs> I can see that you love him. Whatever would be your happiness is what I stand for. All of you have my support. Thank you so much, Dad. Thank you. I love you so much. <laughs> I love you more, my sweet angel. I want you to do one thing for me. Um, tell me that. Now you go and pick your paper and your pen. Draft all that will be needed for this wedding and tell me the cost. <laughs> Daddy, you want a big wedding. If there is anything bigger than big, that is what I will choose. I want everybody that will attend this wedding to speak the best of this wedding. Thank you, Dad. Thank I'll you. do just as you said. So you go and do that. <laughs> All right, okay? Dad. No, wait, 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 my dear. Wait, wait. Oh. <laughs> You're going to like a baby. Yes, that's what you are. <laughs> oh, my sweet angel. Hmm. <laughs> um, yeah. 
You know why I called you? My dad said he wants to sponsor our wedding. Wow. Wow. That's beautiful. That's huge. <sighs> if I had my own money, I would have done everything myself. Come on, darling. Uh -uh. My daddy's money is my money, and my money is your money, so please don't let that bother you, okay? Um, the invites are out. Oh, really? Okay, then I'll, I'll pick it up later. And um, I'll be going to Dubai next week for my shopping. Wow. Thank God everything is moving fine. Um, sweetheart, in as much as I hate to say this, I just have to go now to put one or two things together. I'll call you in the evening, okay? Alright, honey. Bye, darling. Alright, bye, honey. <laughs> It's really an honor to have you here. Please make yourself comfortable. I'm already comfortable. You can see that. Uh, um, would you, when did you return? Yesterday evening. How's it feel? Because okay. Uh, I'm sorry, Chief. Please, what can I offer you? Oh, don't worry yourself. I'm okay. Yeah. I'm alright. Yeah. Um, my daughter told me about this place. So I decided to come and see things myself. Indeed, nice one. Nice one. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, how are you preparing for the wedding? Oh, the wedding? Fine, fine. Everything is under control. Dad, guess what? My friends in England, they said they are flying in two days to the wedding. You can't miss it for anything. <laughs> Do you like it here? Yes, Dad. Okay. Well, uh, I am going to make this place permanently yours. What? Dad, you are buying this place? For my daughter and my son. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. <laughs> because I cannot be alive while you will be paying rent to another person. Hey! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that is best. That's so thoughtful of you. Thank you so much. Wow. Thank you very much. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh. 
Hello? Hello, son. I need to see you here within one hour. Mom, that is not possible. There's no way I can make it in one hour. Ha! Huh. This is very important. Very, very important. I want to see you right now, please. Okay, Mom. I'm coming. Okay, then. I'll be expecting you. Good day, sir. Hello, sir. We are back. Yes, sir. What are your findings? That guy is a snake. He's not to be trusted one bit. Ugo, this is not what I asked you. So I'm trying to tell you who this guy is. This guy is very, very smart. He leaves no trace. Everything about him is shrouded with mystery. But not to worry. I will crack him and uncover all the mystery. Ugo, sir, you are aware that the wedding is six days from now. I'm aware, sir. You should have told me that you are not capable of doing this job. Then I will go and look for professionals to do it for me. Sir, count on me. I will not let you down. Just give me one more chance. Come on, get out. Get out. Is counting. When he is spending only six days, he gets no information about him. have to wait until he wills all the asset to his daughter and you then we'll take him out mom hmm? taking him out you mean killing him yes. and um his daughter his daughter will die too now after he has given you all the keys to the properties that's it wow mom this is bigger than i thought too so it's bigger than I thought. Seriously. Mm. Well, okay. How do you intend to achieve all this? Don't worry yourself. Just leave everything to me. I have my plans. Mm? All you have to do now is to concentrate for the upcoming wedding. Oh, um, mom. Upcoming fake marriage. Yes. 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 I know. That is what it is. Hello. Guess what? Hmm? My dad is planning to let us run the company after our wedding. Are you serious? I say kids. Yeah. Well, that's huge. <laughs> good news, yeah? It's good news. I'm so happy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That woman you told me about, the one you said oh. that took care of you and Choma, mm -hmm. you promised to introduce me to her. My love. She's in the village now, and she's not too strong. Oh. But not to worry. Immediately after our wedding, I'll take you to go and see her. Is that okay by you? Yeah, it's okay. Oh. Would have loved it if she's fit enough to attend our wedding. Hmm? I just pray she recovers very soon. I pray so too. Mm. Um, what about your friends from England? Oh, <laughs> they are flying in first thing tomorrow morning. Oh wow, that's mm. nice. And my dad is planning to host them at our place. <laughs> Why? 
This place can contain them now. I know. Well, you know my father now. He said he wants to give them special treats. Hmm? I can't wait to become Mrs. Miss Oma. <laughs> oh, don't worry. It won't be long again. Hmm? <sighs> I love you. I love you too. I love you very much. Hmm? Come here. <laughs> You're blushing, eh? I'm blushing. <laughs> now take this photo. You can digest it. Everything. Madam, so you came down for my wedding? Eh? Hey. Ah, yeah, that's good. Why did you come straight to my house now? You know how much I've missed your troubles. Mm. Promise me you'll come in the evening. You promise? <laughs> okay, okay, bye. <laughs> yeah. I can see someone is itching that today is the D day. <laughs> Daddy, I'm so happy that I'm getting married to the man I love so much. Yes. <laughs> yes, you're so much happy and you're in a hurry to leave this old man all alone in this house. Ah, oh, my daddy's already missing me. Daddy, don't worry. I won't be far from you, you know that. I know you will not be far from me. But all that matters to me in this my life is your happiness. If you are happy, Daddy will be fine. Daddy, I'm happy. <laughs> hey, excuse me, Daddy. My name is Chinedu. I'm an old school friend of your son, Mesoma. Although um, I have not been in town for quite some time, I came in yesterday and I decided to check on him. Yes, but well, with that, I don't think I have ever seen you as my son's friend. Yeah, you're right, ma. You know, the several locations I've visited the house have not been an opportune to meet you. Well, maybe that was when I went to Cameroon anyway. Yes, that must be right. Anyway, he is no more staying here. Okay. Yeah, he has moved out. Oh. But he was here yesterday and left almost immediately he came in. All right. Oh. And secondly, can I give you his number so that you can call him? No, don't bother. I still have his number. Maybe I'll call him on my way out. Okay. Thanks, ma'am. Have a nice day. He have his number. Then why didn't he call him? Instead of coming here. Oh my gosh. Maybe he wanted to surprise him. back. Yes, sir. What's the good news? Tell me about it. I want to hear all of it. Sir, I'm afraid there is nothing good yet about my findings. With that man that visited me yesterday. Something wrong with him. But I've never seen him with the 
Godwin, my son, as a friend. You've never seen him as a friend. Let me call Godwin. Which one is not rich? Eh? Okay. Let me pick up my bag and go and see you. Jesus Christ, Mama, what are you doing here? Where is Godwin? I need to ask Godwin some questions. Where is he? Where is he? At some. I'm not now, Mama. What are you doing here? I don't want to show you everything. How can I do that? Do you know any 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 guy called Chinedu? He says he's your old school friend. No, I don't. Oh gosh. He came to my house yesterday evening telling me that he was your old school friend and he left the country for three years now. Oh my, I have no such friend. Hey! Chineke, you gave me the Hey! There is trouble. There is fire on the mountain. Because I confided to that guy that I am your mother. Hey! Mom, you did what? Mom! Run, run, run. Susan? Michael. Yes. I know. I have these strong feelings since ever I met this boy that it is nothing but a common criminal. I never knew that you were still in existence. Mm. Not to talk of you. Mm. Planning to ruin my daughter's future and also to bring her downfall. Susan, how evil could you be? All you did to me several years ago. Hmm. My treasure. You see these people you are seeing here. They are nothing but common criminals. This is the same woman I told you about. Susan, my ex-wife. She happens to be the mother of this boy, Miss Oma. I don't understand. Miss Oma, your parents are dead, right? That's what you told me. <laughs> me and my life, I am not dead at all. As I said, they are nothing but common things. This same boy, everything he had told you ever since you met him, are nothing but terrible lies. Miss, please, please. He wanted to get hold of my properties after the fake wedding he planned with you. After which, he will get the kid. Look at him. You see, even this girl, this lady, he introduced to us as his sister. This is his wife. Would you? Hey, listen, tell me all that my dad just said I'm in accusation. Speak up, you bastard! 
He won't say anything because he knows that he is guilty. Susan, I am going to make a promise to you here, right now. You and your entire family will spend the rest of your miserable lives in jail. <laughs> Officers, sir, take these idiots away from here. Yes. Michael, remember that we are not divorced and I'm still your wife. I you know that. Uh, madam, I'm dictative law mm -hmm. and this is my comrade. You have the right to remain silent for whatever you say or do here will be used against you as evidence at court of law. Um, comrade. No, 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 don't touch anybody. We'll move out of the air. You know, with respect. Thank you. My son, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'll see my lawyer right away. For you, Michael. You. You will hear from my lawyer very soon. And I'll so deal with you that you will never forget. The one I did with you was the first one. This last stage, I will so deal with you that <laughs> it's only God that will save you. And I'll tell you that I'm a woman. You know me. You know me. Hey, Michael. I am a woman. And I'll deal with you. Tears. I don't want to see more tears on your eyes. Thank God that we noticed this on time. If not, who knows what could have happened next? I don't want to see more tears on your eyes anymore. Thank you, dear. Thank you so much. You believed him and you loved him. I know how you feel, but that's not the end of your life, okay? It's alright. Um, Ugo, you have done wonderfully well this time. Thank you very much, sir. And I must reward you with this happy. Thank you very much. You see this property we are into now? From today on, it belongs to you. Sir, sir, you can't be joking with a matter like this now. Please tell me something my ear can digest, please. I said you end it. Just to add up, I am going to make a transfer of 10 million naira into your bank account so that you could start life.
Thank you.